Under the Sherman Antitrust Act, price-fixing agreements between competitors, which are also known as horizontal restraints on competition, are ordinarily per se illegal. However, when a horizontal restraint is essential to make the product available, such agreements aren't per se illegal, but instead are reviewed under a rule of reason analysis. In the 1979 case Broadcast Music Incorporated v. Columbia Broadcasting System, the United States Supreme Court considered whether blanket music license agreements are per se illegal if they don't produce anti-competitive effects. Columbia Broadcasting System, or CBS, is a national television network that airs programs, many of which use copyrighted music. In addition, the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers, or ASCAP, is an organization that was created to solve problems associated with the copywriting of music. Broadcast Music Incorporated, or BMI, is a similar organization that operates in the same manner as ASCAP. ASCAP and BMI operate mostly through blanket licenses, which gives their licensees the right to use compositions owned by the organization's members or affiliates as often as desired for a stated term. Fees for the licenses are often calculated as a percentage of total revenue or a flat dollar amount and don't depend on the amount or type of music that's used. Beginning in the late 1940s, CBS held blanket licenses from both ASCAP and BMI on a consistent basis for its television networks. Further, CBS never attempted to obtain any other forms of licenses from either of the two organizations through negotiations or other means. Subsequently, CBS sued ASCAP and BMI in federal district court for various violations of the Sherman Act and copyright laws. Specifically, CBS argued that ASCAP and BMI engaged in illegal price fixing in violation of the Sherman Act and a misuse of copyrights. In response, ASCAP and BMI moved to dismiss, which the district court denied. Nonetheless, the court ruled that the practices weren't per se violations and dismissed the complaint. CBS appealed, and the Second Circuit reversed, concluding that the licenses were a form of price fixing and illegal per se under the Sherman Act. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.